We're on the 22nd, right? That's correct. And then again, um, 1400 to 1440. You're call seeing any of the respondents on May 23rd, 2015. Garrett. And for about how long do you recall? Um, looks like it was a half an hour around noon to 1230. And then um, an hour in the afternoon. So let's talk about that day. Um, after you see Garrett in the morning, are you worried that he's going to pop up in the afternoon? Wait, wait, she's already testified that she doesn't have a, and let, let, well, maybe she hasn't, but she hasn't been asked whether she has any recollection of that particular date, aside from what's contained in this document. So there's no foundation. Uh, maybe you can lay, lay some foundation if she remembers what happened. Now that you've looked at your notes from that day, do you have a better memory of what happened on May 23rd, 2015? It's not any different than any other day, but yes, they, uh, on this particular day, he came out in the morning and then he came out again in the afternoon. So with that memory in mind, after he came out in the morning, were you concerned that you would see him again during the day? Oh yeah. Do you have any sense on these days that we've talked about where you see Mr. Ian, do you have any way of knowing what time he's going to start following you? No. Does that in and of itself cause you anxiety? Yeah, because you're always looking, you're always wondering if, they're, if one of them is going to pop up somewhere. Most of the time it's him. On May 27, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents? Um, it was... Garrett and Mariah, which is the person that Lynn referred to as the girl with the pink hair. Do you know Mariah beyond that? Um, well, there's a story that goes with Mariah that kind of goes into my personal life, but I, I know who she is only because she was an acquaintance of my daughter many years ago, so that's how I know her name. Do you know if she's associated with Mr. Ian or Mr. Freeman in any way? She was dating... Um, Garrett, I don't know if she still is anymore. And what we've described as Robin Hooding, was she also engaged in that with Mr. Ian? Yes. On May 27th? Yes. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 28th, 2015? Um, Garrett. And for what period of time do you recall? Um, well... I just have it written at one thirty on. Recall so. is, is not correct here. She's just referring to what she has in there. You've already laid a foundation that she doesn't remember, so she's just speak, reading from this form. Your Honor, I, I'm happy to have Jane look at these notes and use these globally to refresh her recollection, and I can ask her about them directly, or if Attorney Meyer would prefer and the court would prefer, I'm happy to ask her first if she has a specific recollection and then look at the documents. I, th I think, I think it was, I think would, I think the objection was just, um, you know, do you have a specific memory of w what time do you recall without looking at the document, what time on the 28th? I, I wouldn't be able to, to say it was that sp specific having, date without looking only because it's every day. Having so. looked at the document, does that refresh your recollection? It, it does. It does, because I, I made a note of my day, and I can see what happened that day. And then I, I remember that Garrett was out there from 1.30 until the end of my day. <laughs> so Jane, we're, we're going to go through, the, this won't take too much longer, but the rest of this, the rest of the time period from what you just described as May 28th or May 27th, through as current as we can go to today's hearing. So when I ask you questions, if you'd start by referring to whether or not this is your recollection, and if you need to refresh by looking at the document, we would just say that you're looking at the document. Thank you. So and I apologize if I asked you about May 28th, but do you have a recollection of seeing any of the respondents on May 28th? 
Garrett. And when do you recall seeing him? Then I'd have to look at my document. Based then on the document, when do you recall? Based on refresh, does looking at the document help refresh your recollection? And it was 1.30 until the end of my day. You recall seeing any of the respondents on May 30th, 2015? Garrett. <laughs> you recall when? And I have to look. Garrett was there for, from 13.30 to 13.50, 14.30 to 14.50. Again, um, I saw him briefly at 1500. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 10th, 2015? Um, not without looking. And it was Garrett and Mariah. Do you recall if you had to dodge or evade Garrett that day? I always dodge and evade Garrett, or try to. I try to lose him as much as I possibly can so I don't have to deal with him. On June 11th, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents? Looking at my notes, right? Like in the afternoon, Garrett and Mariah. Do you recall if you saw Ian Freeman on June 11th? I don't recall, but I see that I had made notes um, that there was others that I didn't know with Garrett. And but now that I think of it, I remember that day um, they were in the common, and Ian and Renee walked across the street, and of course. Ian started filming, and Garrett and Mariah were following me, so he was trying to film the Robin Hooding, I guess. When this was going on, are you able to focus on doing your job? No. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 17th, 2015? Not without looking. Day would you were you asking? June seventeenth. Seventeenth. Garrett, um, twelve ten to twelve forty. Garrett again in the afternoon, thirteen forty one. You recall seeing any of the respondents on June eighteenth, twenty fifteen? That particular day, um, the the NBC was doing a. Um, they were doing a, a I, I don't know if it was a piece on free keen or whatever but on that day I got all of them with the r news crew at the same time running after me so let's talk about that day then what could you describe in more detail what happened well I was in the center um, of Main Street and um, I was writing a ticket and I could see the crew of the of the freaking group walking across the street with the news crew. One of the newsmen hollered and pointed, there, there's one of them right now. And they all began to run toward me. So I immediately left the center and went toward City Hall. Who's that, when you say all of them, who's all? It was a whole group of them. There was, there was Ian and Garrett. Um, I believe even James Cleveland, Cleveland was with them that day. You feel targeted? Um, yes. <laughs> I, that day, I, I had, where I had all of them running toward me, um, was very intimidating. <laughs> Let's talk about the next day, June 19th, 2015. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents that day? Just by looking at my document, um, is Garrett in the afternoon, 11.30 to 12. Um, Garrett, 1240, and then I wrote still Garrett and with an arrow from 1316 until the end of the day.
Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 20th, 2015? Again, I have to look because the days all run together. Um, Garrett in the afternoon at 1 o'clock, and then I wrote I lost him in uh, uh, 1350. What do you mean by you lost him? I was able to um, change my direction and shake him off, so he was no longer with me. He went as, in his own, his own way. On July 2nd, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents? Garrett, 1405. On July 10th, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents? This afternoon, um, it's coming back to me. This afternoon, I actually had to call into the office this particular day because um, Garrett was putting money in meters of um, cars that had tickets on them. And I do that. I call the office so that they can put it on a calendar in case citizens call and complain that they've received a ticket um, with time on the meter and then the supervisor can look and see on the calendar that the activists were out and this is what they did. So yes, Garrett was out that day. I remember that day. Do you recall his presence as being a nuisance? Garrett's yeah, always a nuisance. But um, I was chalking um, cars that day. On, it looks like mostly I was on Court Street, but I, um, when I'm chalking, there really isn't, he can't ticket because I've, I'm, I'm leaving chalk marks, so it has nothing to do with the meters. So he's a nuisance because he's still following me, but he's not saving anybody from tickets because it's not relevant to the job that I'm doing at that point. And so, yes, it's very so much a nuisance. If he can't ticket you, if he can't save, save tickets at that time, based on your observations, what do you think he's doing? Being a nuisance. Sure sustained. No, no. Sustained. She can describe what, what what she observes, but I think the question was really asking her to, to comment on what his intent was. She can describe the physical actions that she sees or any words that she hears him say, but, but not on what his state of mind was. So what did you physically see? So it, you know, on days like this where I'm, where I'm talking, which I don't, we don't do as much anymore because we don't have the third person, but anyway, on days that I'm talking, and Garrett comes up, he's usually got his camera and he's usually, usually doing his own documentary of um, what I'm doing and no, he can't save anybody so he, ha he, he, he I don't really pay attention to what he's saying but he does his own little commentary into his camera about us chalking cars and on July 11th, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents that day? Oh. Looks like the 10th was a long day. Um, the 11th mm -hmm. is Garrett in the afternoon, 1402. And July 15th. 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents that day? July what? July 15th. I think some of these were mixed up. Um, Garrett came out after I came back from lunch that day and was there from 12.50. Looks like until I, till the end of my day, it looks like. Or, no, I guess until 14, 13. Looks like that's where it ended. 
On July 25th, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents that day? Garrett in the afternoon, 1351. These notations reflect negative interactions with Mr. Ian? Yes, they're all negative. <laughs> Before we discuss this gap report, well, Your Honor, at this time, since these documents have been used to refresh your recollection, I'd like to ask that what's been marked as Exhibit 3 be entered as a full exhibit. Any objection? I have no objection, Your Honor. Uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 3 is a full exhibit. Jane, I was asking you before we got onto this discussion about feelings of stress and anxiety. Uh, have you sought any additional counseling or help since October 2013? Yes, we have. Um, we actually have a, an organization, I guess the, the city has, um, that we can reach out to mental health workers and. Um, I did that and then went and saw somebody on my own um, for a little while and was put on some medication. You previously testified in 2013, and again, I want to ask you about this from the period since October 2013 forward, that you were looking for another job because you were thinking about quitting. Have you still been having those thoughts? Occasionally, occasionally I do. Would you feel safer if you knew that there was some distance that was gonna be preserved between you and Mr. Yeah. Ian? Objection leading. Overall. Not, answer the question. Not just Mr. Ian, all of them. They're, because you never know when somebody else is gonna come out. The, it's not just him, but yes, any any relief would be helpful. Would that help you focus on your job? That's leaving sustained. Based on your personal observations over the last several years, do you think the respondent's conduct is going to continue if there's no injunction? Yes. Your Honor, I would ask that that I would ask the answer be stricken. I mean, what, what sustained possible? and stricken? That that's uh, you know, I don't know how. I mean, it, certainly that that's that's a conclusion you can ask the court to draw from from the conduct. I don't, I don't know how somebody. Uh, I mean, I understand that 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 uh, I understand the purpose, but really, it's it's uh, it's it's. Well, I'm not going to allow it sustained. If I may rephrase the question, Your Honor? Yes. Are you afraid that the conduct will continue? Yes. I have no more questions, Your Honor. Cross-examination. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. McDermott, again, my name is John Meyer, and I represent the defendants in this case. What is your, um, what has been your schedule over the last year? Um, I generally work Wednesday through Saturday, nine to five thirty. So four, essentially, four days a week. Mm-hmm. Now, and you fill out a overtime gap report every day mm -hmm. that, just for the record oh, yes sorry yes <laughs> and if there's any um, unusual occurrences or anything beyond the norm you make a note on this report um, not just um, abnormal occurrences that this is basically for um, a record of our day because there's some days that we have certain things that we have to do and so we put that on the gap report so that our supervisor knows like if we're repairing a meter or we're doing the survey or we're collecting um, they, they know what we were doing in that period of time so it's not just the interaction with them. Is it correct that every date upon which you're working which you have contact with Robin Hood activity, you would make a notation in the report? Yes. And is it correct that if there was anything, you know, 
beyond sort of the routine Robin Hood activity, you would make a notation on this report? Yes. So in terms of all the days in which we have not been provided copies of your report, is it fair to say that on those days no Robin Hood activity occurred, at least no. with the contact with you? No. It's not it, fair. It, that's... Well, are you saying there are other reports which you which we are not we not received in which you've noted Robin Hood activity? I think